Have you applied to a bunch of jobs and you're starting to feel overwhelmed by how you keep track of all them? Who do you have to follow up with? Which ones did you apply to? Am I applying twice to the same job? Well, that's why tracking your job search is really, really important. A lot of times we just think, I don't need to do that. It's in my inbox. With all the things going on in life to keep track of every job you've applied to, every job you've seen, you can't. And that's why there's tooling for these things because then you can stay on top of your job search and your results will be better. Before we dive in, I wanna tell you why uh, I'm a person to listen to about that. My name is Dave Fano, I'm the founder and CEO at Teal, and I've personally helped thousands of people run a job search, keep track of everything, stay on top of it with them, help them, coach them, and this is what I've seen work. So let's talk about that process, let me show you how to do it. So when we're tracking our job, you wanna think about the stages that a job is in. It's a lot like a sales funnel. If you've ever done sales or use something like Salesforce or some other kind of CRM, you wanna track your opportunities. And if you don't know what stage the opportunities are in, it's then hard to track them and understand which ones made a progress, which ones haven't, which ones you close out, which ones you follow up with. So I think that these are the simple stages. First, there's what I'd call bookmarked. And this is kind of lowest intent. This is just for me to remember that I like this job. There's something about this job, I wanna save it. I may apply later, I may not, but it's like putting things in your shopping cart on Amazon. And I just save these jobs. And if you're building it with your own spreadsheet, sometimes that can be a lot of work and can be time consuming. So I can see why you might not do it there, but we'll talk about some tools that make that really easy. This is a stage I really like. I know some people just bypass it, but it's putting in a stage that's telling you, I intend to apply to this. Because an application requires preparation. You're gonna customize your resume, you might ask for a reference or a referral. So I like a stage called applying. These are jobs that I'm in the process of applying to, I'm doing the preparation, and if things are in there too long, then the job's gonna kind of go stale, so it helps me prioritize. Next is applied, right? And this is, these three are the ones that you control 100%. I can control what I bookmark, I can control what I intend to apply to, and I can control getting the applications out. So these first three are really important in that sense. But once I've applied, there are things I can do, like follow up and, and we can talk about that, but I like an applied stage. Then once you get called back, your jobs are in an interviewing stage. Now you could track the sub stages, whether you're in screening, second view, third interview, but broadly, these are all in the interviewing stage and that's why I like to clump them all together. And then, you know, some are gonna get to the negotiating stage. Hopefully they all become accepted, but you might have multiple offers. I would say the ideal, amazing, utopian job search, you've got three offers in hand. And if you've got enough volume in your pipeline, it's very possible that, that can happen. But now these are the jobs that you've received offers and you're in the negotiating stage. And you wanna track which ones are negotiating um, so you can know when you gotta get back to people. And then lastly, of course, is accepted. All right, so let's talk about these in a little bit more detail and how you go about doing that. So first, you wanna get jobs into your tracker. Now, whether you're using a spreadsheet, a Notion, an Airtable, a Google Sheet, that's all fine. I'm gonna show you now how to use the Teal Job Tracker that makes this process really easy for you and it's free. So there's no reason not to use it compared to any of those other things. And we've thought through all the details about it. So let's use LinkedIn in this case. So here we are on LinkedIn searching for jobs and we're looking for customer experience representative positions. And I'm gonna skim through these and say, okay, you know, this one looks interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and bookmark it with the Teal Chrome extension. I'm using the Chrome browser here. So you just click that and it's gonna highlight the key hard skills for me. So, okay, it's a global team. Yeah, I've got experience with a global team. There's some coaching. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead. This one, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna keep shopping and I can actually leave the Teal Chrome extension up and it's gonna help me even look at them a little faster. You know, business partner, call center. No, I don't wanna do a call center job. All right, cool. Customer experience, a little bit of marketing. I like it. Let me go ahead and save that job. All right, so this is bookmarking, that's it. You just like shop, look, add a bunch in there. You really wanna get a bunch in there. You don't need to qualify them right now. You don't even need to see, am I qualified, am I not? This is about getting a bunch in there. And generally, I like almost a two to one, three to one ratio of bookmarked to saying, I'm actually gonna to apply to these. Bookmark a ton of jobs. Let's go over to Teal and those jobs are there now. All right, so I've put them into the bookmarking stage. So now 
Let's go ahead and filter by just my bookmarked jobs. Which of these am I actually excited about? Well, this one, I gave it a four rating. This one, you know, I don't know this company. Uh, probably awesome, but I don't know them, so I'm not gonna apply. Circles in the crypto space, super cool. I'm excited about that. I'll go ahead and rate that. Okay, so now the ones that I'm no longer interested in, let's go ahead and kind of prune and just archive those and they'll go off my tracker. All right, so now let's go into one of these in particular, this job at Circle. Now I'm gonna start to dig in to the job description, the keywords. I'm gonna understand that a little bit better. I'm like, okay, you know what? I do wanna apply to this job. I'm gonna move it to the applying phase. And now this is where I start to do my preparations. I'm gonna customize my resume. I'm gonna check to see if I know anybody that works at the company. And I might even try to get a referral, use some email templates to help me do that. But you know, you don't want this to really go beyond one to three days. You know, once you've said you wanted to apply, jobs go stale. Every day you haven't applied, someone else is. There's a chance they take the position. So this is why having a tracker is really important and seeing when did I bookmark it? How long has it been in my tracker? What's the next move? All right, so let's assume you applied. We'll do other videos on how to submit a great application. But for this, it's really about tracking. All right, so then I applied. Now, if I go back to my tracker, I can quickly see which jobs I've applied to, right? So this is a job I applied to. I saved it today. You know, this date might be three days out. And now I'm gonna set a follow-up date. I need to follow up in you know, seven days. And so now you can see all the jobs that I've applied to, my follow-up dates, and you can stay on top of it. The problem with not tracking your job search is you keep all this in your head and it gets really overwhelming and it's virtually impossible to keep it all up there. So just maintaining a simple tool, like I said, even if it's just a spreadsheet, it really helps take a lot of the pressure and uh, overwhelmingness of a job search away because it's all here and you don't have to think about it. And you just, at any point you can log in and see where am I with that job? Now, if I haven't heard from them in three weeks, you know, maybe I follow up again or I'll just go ahead and close it out and say, hey, if it pops up, great, I'll reactivate it, but I'll close it out. Then let's say for this particular job, I get an email back and I get asked to do an interview. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move it over to the interviewing stage. And that job is gonna be in my tracker and I know all the jobs I'm currently interviewing for. I can now start to take some notes. I can keep track of who I'm interviewing with, what was that next interview, what day, what time, all those things I can put in there and keep track. And again, the goal is to get it all out of your head so you can be at your best when you're at the interview when you're doing all the other things you have to be doing. There's no reason for you to keep all that in here. And this is why you wanna make a tracker, right? And then obviously negotiating and accept it. But the core idea here is to have a quick view where you can see all the opportunities you're excited about. And it might be up to 100, right? It doesn't seem like a lot when you've only got five or 10, but you know, if we start to put a bunch more jobs into our job tracker, right, it could start to get overwhelming very quickly. Being on top of that can, again, really start to stress you out and it's gonna hurt you in the process. So now if I go back to my tracker, I've got a bunch of jobs. And in Teal in particular, once you go after 10 jobs, you can start to group them. I can group them by status. So show me all the things in bookmarked, all the things in applying. You can you know, quickly filter and search them by job. Um, you know, if I wanna see one that are just the customer experience jobs, I can do that, right? So having a tracker really brings that kind of stability and what feels like a rudderless process. It gets it in kind of a state of flow and you can stay on top of everything. So highly recommend using a job tracker. These are the simple stages. If you wanna make your own stages and your own spreadsheet, go for it. It's really about giving yourself a sense of control of a process that can feel really, really overwhelming. All right, so good luck with that and hope you land that job you love.